Secret Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in Agent M for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent M, reporting for duty. Agent M, during the past year, there have been countless attempts to overthrow this government and make this country a protectorate of one of the aggressor nations. Attempts have been made on the life of the king. Within recent months, certain leading statesmen have died, apparently by their own hand. Now it is charged that these deaths have all been political murders. Tonight, you are to interview the man who is responsible for our being here, a certain high-ranking government official. A car will call for you at nine. Act with the utmost secrecy. Keep me informed. That night, a black sedan with drawn curtains carried Agent M to a castle some distance outside the city. He was led into a great chamber where an elderly man awaited him. You are expected. You will enter here, monsieur. Your host waits inside. Thank you. Good evening. Will you come over here and sit down? Of course, sir. I will not introduce myself. For the time, I prefer to remain nameless. An introduction is not necessary, sir. So, <laughs> you recognize me. Well, I suppose I should have known that you would. Uh, sit down, Agent M. I have a story to tell you. Thank you. I'm ready, sir. I am about to tell you of a great plot. A plot that is slowly but surely wrecking my country taking its leading citizens, its patriots. I don't know how much K-7 has told you, or uh, even how much he knows. Well, I know only that there have been certain political murders, sir. Yes. Yes, there have been murders. Last week, one of my old friends died, Agent M. If these murders are not stopped, my country will fall into the hands of a mad group who would give it to a totalitarian state. This man who is behind the deaths of our patriots has been promised power and wealth if he succeeds. He will become a dictator. Already he is powerful. You know who he is? Yes, I know. But let me tell you how he started. We once thought him to be a patriot. He was one of us. He even formed a society called the Chosen Band. I've heard the name. The Chosen Band was formed to preserve our nation, our way of living. Each man who joined was told that belonging would be dangerous, that we might even have to give our lives for our country. You, uh, you are a member of the group? Yes. I joined. 
All of my friends joined. We believed we acted for our country. We were ready to face danger, and we signed letters. What kind of letters? Uh, here is a copy of the one I signed. I have made this from memory. I am tired of life and do not wish to carry my burdens any longer. I leave this world by my own hand. You wrote and signed that letter? Yes, Agent M. I told you we were warned that belonging to the chosen band would be dangerous. Each of us signed a letter similar to this so that in the event we were called upon to give our lives for our country, there would be no investigation that would reveal the secrets of the band. I see. I think I understand the plot. As soon as this man who organized the chosen band had all of your letters in his possession, he began killing those who opposed him. Yes, Agent M. Ten great men have already died. I know now that unless something is done, all of us will die. Then there will be none to oppose him. He will murder the king and turn this country over to the world's mad dog. All of us who joined the chosen band live in the shadow of death. It was nothing but a trick to cover the murder of patriots. Who is the chosen band's leader? His name is... <coughs> You're hit, sir. Here, let me help you. It's... It's too late. Tell K-7 that... Tell him the man is... Is... There <coughs> Agent M. returned to his rooms a little after midnight. By that time, the morning papers had already printed an account of the old banker's death. And despite the fact that he had died before M.'s eyes, it was claimed he had taken his own life. A few minutes later, Ivan entered. Ivan, did you follow my instructions? Yes, M. I followed the car that took you to the old castle. While you were inside, I looked the grounds over carefully. Did you see the murderer? Yes, I saw him as he was running away. Oh, if we could only gotten to him in time. I was sure that sooner or later they would find out that we were here. But I didn't expect that they would strike tonight. I only ordered you to follow me because I wanted to establish a guard around the old man. Would you recognize the man who shot if you saw him? Yes. Oh, wait, Em, let me finish. I succeeded in following the man when he left the grounds. Then you know where he went? He reported to Ferenc Mirsch. Ferenc Mirsch. Ivan, you've discovered the key to this plot. Mirsch, that's the man. You've heard of him, Em? Yes, Ivan. The old banker died as he was trying to tell me that name. His last words were, Tell K-7 the man is Ferenc. And he stopped there without ever giving me the last name. Do you know where Mirsch is now? Yes, he's at home, Em. The man who shot the old banker reported to him and left. And a short time later, Mirsch retired. When I left, his home was in darkness. Take me there, Ivan. We're going to call on him tonight. The garden behind Ferenc Mirsch's home was dark. Not a light burned in the great house as Agent M and Ivan climbed to a small balcony. Let me have your hand, Ivan. Now, careful. You're sure this is the room? Yes. I watched from behind those rose bushes under us. I could see through the French doors. There's a desk just inside. And I want to see what's in that desk. I'm going to jimmy these doors. Uh, don't use your flashlight. All right, I'm ready. Now, let's hope it doesn't make too much noise. Oh, I hope Mish didn't hear us. Oh, I don't think he did. Throw your flashlight around the room. There's the desk, Em. Yes. There's a heavy lock on it, too. Look, a steel cabinet. Ivan, I think we'll find the papers we want in that cabinet. Now, if I can get the jimmy behind the steel door. Careful, Em. Someone will hear us. Oh, it's got to be done. I'm going to try it again. All right. Now, put your light out and listen. 
I don't hear anything. No. Perhaps we were lucky. These are big rooms. The sound would be deadened. Switch on your light again. I want to look in this cabinet. Yes. Here are the papers we want. I no longer enjoy life. Ivan. Here are the letters that were signed by the patriots who were tricked into joining the chosen band. There must be 20 or 30 of them. Look at the names. M. There's Mish's own letter. Yes. He probably showed it to others to get them to write their own. Hmm. Yeah, they're all here. We'll take these with us. I think not, my friend. Don't try to move. You might as well put your gun down, Mish. I notified the police before I came here. Ah, you're lying. But it makes no difference. The police would not dare move against me. Don't try to reach for your gun. Get down, Ivan. <laughs> Quick, get his gun. He dropped it. It's on the floor near his hand. I've got it. Em, he, he's dead. Yes, Ivan. The master plotter will never order another man killed. Uh, wait, find his letter. It's in that pile on the desk. Here it is, Em. What are you going to do? Wipe the fingerprints off my gun and put it beside him. We'll put his letter on his desk. There. Now the authorities will think that he, too, died of his own hand. There'll be no investigation. Special Agent M, reporting to K-7. The man behind the political murders is dead. According to newspaper reports, he died of his own hand. His name was Frank Mirsch. I have seized many important papers from his desk. They will be handed to you in person along with my confidential report. The case is closed. Two days later, the letters which statesmen and patriots had been forced to sign when they joined the chosen band were returned to the men who had written them. The chosen band passed out of existence. A great plot had failed. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking.